All right, people, we're uh, on the second video. I'm creating three videos today based on personal branding checklist. These are things that you're able to uh, just scratch off to make sure that you have those as far as part of your branding system because branding is uh, one of the things that you want to continuously grow from where you have nothing to where you have a website, you have a podcast, you have a blog, you have merchandise, you have whatever. You want to be a brand yourself and your company so that people can always access you and you can make money while you're doing that, right? So the first one was uh, about for beginners. This one is for intermediate. These are for people who are a little bit more experienced, a little bit more savvy. So um, we ended with number eight on the first one. We're going to start with number nine. Make a logo out of your name. Pick a font, pick a color, and make one of, one, one of your names bold. You want to do that, whether it's your first name or your last name. Uh, number 10, create a color palette that you like. Go to colors.co and select three to five colors for use in your profile and marketing materials or just select a light or highlight color and save the six digit hex code. And uh, there's an example of what the six digit hex code looks like. And I'll be putting those in the show notes. So just like in the comment section where you would find the normal comments, uh, I'll put the links to everything that I mentioned so that you can access that and you know see everything that's going on with that. Number 11. Collect testimonials on a page on your website. Make a page at your at yourname.com testimonials and put all your existing testimonials there. Go to testimonials101.com if you need more assistance. That's or if you need more help. That's uh, a good place. See, when you hear like a, a link like testimonials.com or colors.co. You want to always register those in your mind because in the business that you're in, those are valuable, right? And maybe not now, you don't need them right now, but later on, you know, down the line, you will need them or you'll be able to help someone else who needs that type of assistance. Number 12, collect logos for your clients to demonstrate your credibility. Google the names of all your notable clients and save the images of their logos all in one folder. Use this on your homepage and in your marketing materials. Do you see the mindset that would be involved with that? When, when you come to my website and you're a client, you'll see your brand or your, your logo on my homepage. How cool would that be for your high dollar clients, right? Number 13, write a good CTA for newsletter subscription now what's the cta you're intermediate you know what the cta is but if you don't it's a call to action encourage people to sign up for your email newsletter instead of subscribe to stay in touch try x topic hacks those again those are um, things that i'll put in the show notes that you can review so that I don't have to read how they explain that because sometimes it's like caps, lower, and you gotta differentiate. That's not necessary for me. Okay, number 14, create a story or a case study about your customer. Tell a story about how you help a client overcome a typical problem. Dive into the details. Document everything if you can in a written case study or to be used in your marketing uh, material. Simple, right? It's not like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, you can do it. It's very, very simple. You just have to walk your, mentally walk through that process and see what that would feel like for you. Number 15, join a Facebook group and forums where you can find customers. Wherever your customers congregate online, you should be there too. You can listen to how they phrase their problems and you'll be available when they are looking for solutions. So it's like you're a little fly on the wall, you know, you hear everything, you see everything, 
and you hear me say something like, wow, I'm looking for uh, someone who does concrete floors, and you happen to be someone who does concrete floors, and guess what? You want to reach out to me. Guess what? I can give you a great price on concrete floors if you can do that. Number 16, set a Google alert for your name. Anytime your name pops up on the internet, get a, notific a notification email to you by going to google.com alerts forward slash alerts. And I don't know if you know you could do that, but you can do that. And you, every time someone types in your name or your website or your whatever you have, boom, there you go, right? Get email. Okay, so how was that for you? Was that fairly comfortable? Because not only am I trying to give you some information about how to brand yourself or your company, but I'm also trying to get you to understand how easy this process is for you to become consistent creating content. It doesn't have to be real long, 15, 20 minutes long. Actually, I recommend my clients to start out about two to three minute videos. That's it. Two to three minutes, get comfortable in front of the camera, watch your mannerisms, see what you're doing, strong, what you're doing good and what you're not doing so good. Like if I'm constantly moving my head like that, that wouldn't be good, right? I, I, I need to focus. If I'm moving my hands a lot, that wouldn't be good. I need to put my hands down so I can I'll keep them in the space, right? It's all a process. That's all I have to say. It's a process, but you have to start. If you don't start, you won't get better because it's not like magic until you start and then the magic begins. Again, my name is Larry James. My company is Speak With Larry, No Spaces, and I'll see you on video number three.